this is a bat world okay originally it was two plates this is another this is another one plate this is another plate and then welded together what you see there is the world okay these here are macros as well as this one this is also a macro okay but but the difference between this macro and these macros as this one is having a fillet world okay that's a fillet world okay these are fillet world and you know in mechanical engineering we are considering the throat thickness to know how strong the world is right so i want to reveal how the world looks like after you've welded it and then you want to do some examination okay so this is just water normal water H h2o and then here I'm, maybe, I'm having nitric acid and here is my alcohol okay in order to reveal how the world looks like i'm gonna try to mix alcohol and uh, nitric acid i'm gonna do a uh, 40 40 percent nitric acid so i'll try to use my head as a normal engineer or technician like i'm considering that to be my 40 percent if i add this alcohol this is alcohol remember i'm speaking but when you're doing this procedure you must close your mouth okay because you know alcohol is dangerous okay so i would prefer to use some tools for measurements but uh, it's not important here as uh, my main uh, mission here is to show you how the world looks like okay you see can you see it how it looks like this so i'm gonna put it in this mixage of mine okay i can leave it for a while if i want but not necessary you know if you can spend there something like 30 seconds one minute of course the world will be revealing you can see now you can see now the world is coming out the world is coming out there okay so now this is so beautiful look look at the runs look at the runs can you see the runs can you see the runs there can you see the runs this is so beautiful i try to make it more clear but the more time you spend it in the alcohol in the mixage the, the more i mean in acid the more it's revealing the runs please take that one this is so beautiful so the water that is here is just to rinse it you know just to rinse it and then i'm gonna use this is alcohol i'm gonna use to spray alcohol just to avoid you know the reason why i'm using alcohol just to avoid that this might rust you know just to avoid the rusting of the thing here of my micro there you go there you go so now i'm doing the same for this fillet rod that i'm having here and then from there you can see how it will look like okay so the reason why we're doing this the reason why we're doing this you know the reason why we're etching it is because we want to see how the world looks after we've, we've welded we've welded our samples you know and then to uh examine our world and see if it's ready or if we need to do another world okay so that's the reason see how to reveal me can you see that can you see that this is beautiful then from here after aging you know I can give it to my 
to our technician to evaluate the words. Please take this one to evaluate, to evaluate the words. Okay. Earlier on, I was explaining how to etch a macro. Here, I'm having a micro. This is a macro with two worlds. Okay. So now I want to do a macro such examination. What I'm trying to do here is to check if there is a full penetration of full, full fusion between the parent metal and the world. Okay. So my goal here, I'm gonna try to draw a line there. So I'm gonna try to draw a line there. Okay. As straight as possible. Okay. And then as I want to evaluate a fillet world. Right. So I want to find I want to find wealth this side that side so everything behind this line of mine the vertical line does not count anything behind my horizontal line does not count so for me to testify that this is well welded and there is enough fusion what I need to see I don't I want to see this world traversing crossing the line the continuous line of my parent's metal for the horizontal plate i mean the vertical plate as well as the horizontal plate so they i can see that the world is already that side so i can testify that there is enough fusion that side as well now i want to measure the gate length okay so for me to measure the gate length i need to see my roots this is the root. What I'm saying, the root, I'm gonna give you a, a, a demonstration here. A demonstration here. So if I can draw my plate, don't mind my my way of drawing. If I can draw that, okay. So that is my root. I want to see fusion on the root. I want to see penetration of the word in the root. So my word is the okay. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna measure the length. Thus, horizontal one, I'm going to consider it as my leg length one. So, from the end of the world to where the, the world starts, actually where the other plate is, that is my first measurement. So, I can record this with my venue, 9.36 millimeter. So, that is 9.36 millimeters. Okay. So, now, if I have to measure the other length, the other leg left there the we go so then if i can measure that one i see it's 10.335 millimeters so 10.35 millimeters as pay as me nine okay so the difference between z1 and z2 z1 z2 okay must not be above three millimeters must not be above three millimeters. So it must be under three millimeters. And for ISO, for ISO 1.5614 dash one, as well as 9606 dash one, the difference between the legs, this, the, the leg length, okay, the difference between the leg length must not be above the throat, the size of the throat thickness, actually 1.5 plus. 0 0.515 the throat thickness that is my throat thickness okay so there is so now for you to find the throat thickness that is my throat thickness okay so that's one way from the root to me in mechanical engineering or in engineering you consider that to the that one that thickness to determine the how strong the word is okay so mathematically what you can do you can see it's just that just that and then you know that if you have to measure that what you do you take uh one point square root of two time the smallest z divided by two and that's one give me zero point seven zero seven one 
than the smallest z. So here, if I, here, I can get my smallest z. I'm gonna do a quick calculation here. Hold on a minute. I'm gonna do a small calculation here. I'm gonna use my computer. I'm gonna use my computer here. And then, if my computer, 0 0.7, one times, 9.3 or 9.36 which is my smallest uh, leg length then you can see the then I can get it 6 6.61 millimeters if you want if you have any doubts you can see the sorry it's 6 something the okay you see that okay so thank you so much for watching this video and for the next season thank you